All right, where it is. What it do. We are. On. The. Real. And even though we were better late than never, we got quite a few comments about Tom McDonald. Mm-hmm. Everybody wants us to react to his trailer about the album he dropped today. Wow. This guy stays busy, man. Isn't that crazy, though? Like, they're like, react to his trailer. Trailer. For his album. <laughs> wow. So I'm curious as to what this trailer looks like. And I guess we're not, I guess there's like a super long one that we're not going to react to. But we're going to react to this, like, four-minute one. I mean, he got a serious uh, thing going on mm-hmm. when you're asking about a trailer yeah. <laughs> before it even releases. It's like, it reminded, you just remind me of that clip. We're talking about practice, man. Mm. We're talking about practice. <laughs> These guys got a momentum going on, oh, man. Yeah. You know, uh, we might have to do another review um, on Kanye West. I heard something. Man, he's like broke records and he didn't even release the album yet, dude. Yeah, so we'll talk about that another time. Stay tuned. Yes. But, all right, so here we're going to look at Tom McDonald's trailer. The trailer. Practice, man. Is it it like viral already? (laughs) Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. State your age. 32. State your country of residence. United States of America. Well, there you go. That, <laughs> there you go. And the comments did say that he does live, or he has been living in L.A. Okay. So, but he's a native, a Canada native. Yeah, and I think that if I remember right, they said they're both from Canada. Oh, Nova too. Mm-hmm. Oh, cool. but but he's living in L.A. So, nice. so far, this looks like a movie trailer more than an album drop trailer. So this is pretty cool. Ouch! That looked like that hurts, man. With all that all tattoos. tattoos on your face, know, right? needles on your face. So, here we go. State your name. Tom McDonald. Under Section 4A of the Restrictions on Freedom Act, established by the International Police in February of 2022, you have been found to be in violation of several civil disobedience bylaws, inciting public distrust of the government, solicitation of confidential information, anti-institutional rhetoric are you are you getting what he's getting at here yeah uh, he's he speak his mind uh and now he's and, like uh, he's, in, being interrogated he's in trouble it. he's this is like the new eminem i almost feel like you remember how eminem was yeah <laughs> but he's uh not to be misunderstood this guy talks about stuff eminem didn't talk about yeah well eminem like, got a little political right but he didn't he didn't go this far with it um, like M would drop like one or two political songs on a, on an album, mm. and so it seems like it just it just you know. hit the attitude. It's almost just like relentless, right. like no fear, like you know what I'm saying. That could that could be. And that's and, not an easy thing to do to go up against the government to say things. And I mean, we all say things. We all want to say things how we feel, but sometimes it takes that one person to have no filter. Right. And I, I think another difference is when M did it, it was in the 90s. It wasn't as hostile and That's volatile right. yeah. as it is right now. Yeah. It is It is crazy. Yeah. I'm glad he's independent, man. <laughs> yeah. There's no way, no, there's no way a label would well, yeah. allow him to do this. They'd be like, nope. Um, but yeah, this is cool. This looks like a dystopian future, <laughs> not too far away kind of thing. If stuff doesn't, you know, start changing. How new is this video? This trailer? Uh, you know what? It, it gotta be it, recent. It is recent. Like, I want to say a week. Okay. Because his albums, this trailer is for came out today as in a few minutes ago. Wow. This guy stays busy. As we're recording this. By the time we get to releasing it, it's probably going to be hours or days. But anyway, you know what I'm saying. All right. right, Here we go. Unauthorized assembly of civilians with the purpose of protest and amplifying social unrest. You are a threat to world safety and therefore you are being charged by the international police for the aforementioned disobediences. How do you plead? You know what you call disobedience? You know what we used to call that? freedom and what you call inappropriate I call necessary and what you call lies and conspiracy and anti-institutional rhetoric I call that the truth 
You guys really think you run the world, huh? You think you can just bully everyone and cancel everything? You think you can just push us around so we all fall in line? <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been fighting for the world for a long time. For the losers and the rejects and the outcasts and the forgotten. For the abused and the unwell and the disenfranchised. Calm down, Mr. McDonald. No, I've been fighting. <laughs> Man, I feel like I feel like something is about to happen major. Like he's about to turn into like a super a Tom McDonald and just fly up out of there or something. Like you ain't got me trapped. I, I feel like they're gonna start <laughs> taking his channel down. Um, <laughs> and real, real, yeah. Have you seen the latest thing from the Department of Homeland Homeland Security regarding uh, terrorist threats coming up on 9/11 anniversary? Mm -mm. They said be aware of domestic terrorist threats. Uh, these threats may include people that are anti-mask, anti-vaccine, and against the government. No. So, me, I'm a domestic terrorist threat. <laughs> so. This guy's well informed. He keeps me informed. <laughs> <laughs> On the real. But, all right, here we go for our freedoms and our safety and our survival and the way that we remember the world used to be. I've been fighting for the world. Sit down. No, I'm not going to sit down. I won't shut up. I will not quit. I will not back off. I won't let you destroy everything that people have spent their lives trying to build. I have fought for the world for all my life, but do not think for a second that I will not fight against it. That's why you're here. That's why you will never leave here. <laughs> you think you can stop me? You really think you can stop me? It's been me against the world since I was old enough to think. War, famine, natural disaster. The world has fought it all and won. The world is undefeated. It's got a point there. Hmm. <laughs> I, I think that's like, I don't know, kind of against the New World Order kind of thing. Right. Yeah, this is serious. Mm -hmm. We are undefeated. One man will not change that. You see, that's, that's where you screwed up. They say with great power comes great responsibility. You know what else comes with great power? Ignorance. Mm. Careless mistakes. See, I thought that was the part he was on the turn to like a super Tom <laughs> McDonald. Like, yeah, let me out of here. You think you're holding me in here? Let me out of here. Right. And, like, <laughs> and the doors just pop open. <laughs> The ability to vastly underestimate the people who you have power over. And I am not alone. You can lock me up. You can hide me away. You can shoot me down like a dog in the street. But I promise you, you cannot kill me. My word, my message, my vision, my spirit will live on through Hangover Gang forever. So, one, it is so refreshing to have a viral celebrity using their platform to speak for the people that for so many years uh, haven't been spoken for because all the other celebrities use their platform to speak the opposite stuff. Mm -hmm. um, there's one thing he said though that kind of caught my attention that kind of bothered me, but he's like something about use your power over the people. And that that's where the problem is now. It's like, we elected these people, they work for us, but they don't act like they work for us. Right, once they, they, once they get in yeah. there, they, they, they're they their own person, so to speak. They forget all about mm -hmm. how they got there. Now something. all of a sudden they think they have the power because the people, through their brainwashing and everything else, the people forgot that we have the power or should have the power. Exactly. So. And you know what? I guess you're not the only one making mistakes. Because when I said it was me against the world, I was mistaken. It's not me against the world. It's us against the world. Ooh. Yeah, that, that's pretty, that's a pretty bold statement. And I don't mean that in a bad way. It's very, how can I say it? I just feel like this what he just said can just align. He has a lot of followers. 
-hmm. but it's almost just like that that speech to get uh kind of like soldiers together oh yeah like that prep talk and it's like okay so when he put on his mask I almost want to put on a mask. I don't even get one. Okay. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's, it's pretty serious. Like, it yeah. makes you, it's very, like I said, he's very, uh, he's very uh, charismatic. Mm -hmm. you, this guy is very charismatic. There's definitely a, a movement happening. Mm. You can feel it. Yeah, absolutely. Things are changing. The world is changing. And this guy is informed and, you know. He's telling the truth about a lot of stuff. He's telling the truth so much that it hurts. Mm -hmm. Like some people can't understand. They can't. Uh, you can't handle the truth. <laughs> <laughs> and that truth he's telling, it's almost just like, no. All right, enough, Tom McDonald. And that's pretty. That's what the higher powers, mm -hmm. uh, they want to censor him. They're like, no, you 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 putting too much information out. So Cognitive I, I get it. Dis dissonance. Yeah. Did I say it right? Cognitive dissonance. I'm probably saying it wrong. I should probably stop saying it. <laughs> <laughs> but y'all know. You get it. <laughs> but to answer your question, not guilty. <laughs> wow. That was pretty cool. Man, I, I feel energetic, man. That's like... <laughs> Motivation. This, this dude can be like a, uh, a leader of... Uh, Tom McDonald for Canadian president. Yeah, man. I say Canadian because he can't be a U.S. president. He wasn't born here. <laughs> Same reason I can't. Anyway, go ahead. Oh, okay. So, yeah, this guy can, can he's very charismatic, man. Mm -hmm. Very articulate. Yeah. And he, man, his words are powerful. <laughs> so, man, that was a pretty cool trailer. Yeah. I'm thinking, you know, forget the albums. I I, I want to see the movie. Yes, me too. <laughs> Tom, make a movie. Yeah. Get with Michael Bay and make a movie. Mm. Uh, okay. That was pretty cool, guys. Mm. Whoever recommended that, thank you. Mm. You guys are awesome. We definitely appreciate all our followers and supporters. Yes. We can't do this without you guys. Exactly. Let's keep it going. <laughs> uh, links are in the description. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. And we'll catch you next time. We are On the real. Later. Peace.